Hello everyone. Welcome to the LeverX webinar series, a free educational service offered to SAP customers to inform and demonstrate SAP functionality and industry best practices. Our webinar today is entitled Digital Transformation for Direct Material Sourcing and Product Lifecycle Management, PLM, with SAP Ariba. During this session, you will hear from LeverX and an SAP Ariba procurement and direct materials expert. They will discuss and demonstrate how your company can reduce time to market and new product introduction by bringing engineering and procurement teams closer together. This in turn will increase your company's competitive advantage and shareholder value. My name is Ralph Davis, Marketing Manager at LeverX, and I will be the moderator for today's webinar. Before we begin our topic, let me briefly introduce you to LeverX. LeverX helps companies increase business value by leveraging existing investments in SAP solutions. So I will start now with uh, providing you an overview of um, our direct material sourcing offering. We will first start with talking about the direct materi material challenges companies facing and also the situation at at many of uh, the companies we talk to. We will give you an overview of our new innovation, our direct material sourcing, also how it relates to our SAP ERP S4 business suite. And as I already mentioned, you will also see the solution process flow, which is shown by David. So let's get started. I'm sure you've seen already our legal disclaimer before, so certain parts of the solution or roadmap slides are of course forward-looking and therefore subject to change. If we're talking about direct material, right, there are additional challenges or different challenge, challenges which are in the market, right, which are different to indirect uh, procurement categories, right, one is the market complexity. It's a fragmented, global, supply base, right? There's a volatility in the market, there are prices which are commodity based, right, and changing frequently. And also if you take a look at the costing and pricing structures, it's not as simple as what you see in the indirect uh, categories, right? It's not just a unit price, it could be way more complicated with formulas behind that to really calculate the total cost. Also, the category itself can be very more complex. There are detailed specs and design requirements which have to be discussed with the suppliers. There is an extensive supplier qualification segment, segmentation required to make sure that the suppliers can provide and deliver the services to your important direct material categories. And if you take a look at the events, right, often many line items, right, if you think about a complex electronic uh, component, if an engine, and also the pricing, as already mentioned, can be quite complex. Also the relationship uh, with your suppliers are different, right? They are may more strategic, more long-term, and therefore, of course, you have to have also contingent plans in place if there are any disruptions in your supply chain. So different challenges, more challenges, way more complex. But if you take a look at many of the companies and organizations, right, there are a lot of, lot of issues around managing that type of spent category. Supplier data are in different systems and therefore the manual, or in many organizations, the direct material process source to pay is quite manual. Then contract leakage, right? A lot of time is spent negotiating good terms and conditions. But at the end, right, if that terms and conditions you negotiate with the supplier are not available in your operational procurement system, no? wasted time, and of course, that results in large numbers you see that here, up to 30% of the contracted direct spend is non-compliant. And for, in many organizations, that whole source to contract process, right, is not integrated to the um, rest of the enterprise, and therefore, of course, a big issue with managing the data. 
So lots of challenges, right, which really uh, made us move towards direct material. But let's have a look how the big picture looks like. What you see on that screen here is our digital core, the SAP Business Suite, S4 HANA, on the left-hand side. Right? It digitalize your processes inside of your organization and the digital core is surrounded by cloud solutions which really can extend the core. Today we're focusing on suppliers and networks, which is where Ariba is um, part of, and Ariba can then extend that digital process also to your suppliers and your business partners. Right? When we're talking about Ariba, it's the Ariba network right, which connects buying organizations with many suppliers, with up to 2.4 million suppliers on the network, and also the Ariba solution portfolio includes solutions to manage the source to pay process end to end with a strong supplier management offering as well. Hey, good afternoon, good morning everybody. This is Dave Cramp from LeverX. Um, and you know, as Florian has highlighted, uh, the Ariba is coming out with uh, this new direct sourcing approach. And I'm gonna go through a, a, a very high level scenario of how this would apply. It was, an, it was a very nice uh, intro slide that Florian gave of the process, you know. So, you know, here's the kind of the process that I'm going to walk us through here today. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we're going to have a, an engineer, Tom, in, in a he working that he works for a printer manufacturer, and you know, there's going to be a bomb that needs to be updated, and, and in PLM, uh, you know, and the engineer is going to work in in CAD and working with the engineering bills of material you know, to define and design these long lead items, uh, et cetera, that need to be sourced. So within PLM and CAD, you know, a CAD design will be created by the engineer. The engineer will then also, from the engineering control center side of PLM, create uh, and derive a PLM engineering bill of material. When I say SAP PLM, it is, if we go back, it is the same thing as SAP ECC and SAP S4 bill of material. So the PLM is integrated into the core aspects of SAP. So Tom will worked on this new printer design in CAD and created an engineering bill of material. And with that, uh, Tom is working uh, with a, a uh, working with the sourcing in this in this example, uh, Lisa, that he needs to. Uh, get a new card reader for this design and he can pass that information over to Lisa. Lisa because of the integrated nature will be able to look in and see information inside of PLM and, and that engineering bill of material information is passed over to her dashboard. She'll receive a dashboard piece of information of, of various parts that need to be sourced for this new design and then can uh, assign that work out to the appropriate procurement uh, personnel. In this case, uh, she's going to assign some work to, to Sam Smith. 